three gaming operating systems walk into a bar, and only two walk out alive. That's the current state of SteamOS alternatives, and the drama is absolutely nuclear. Let me break this down. Hollow ISO was the closest thing to actual SteamOS you could install on your PC, a reverse-engineered Steam Deck's operating system, and gave you that exact experience. The problem? The original developer archived the project in February 2024. It's dead. There's an immutable version floating around, but it's basically on life support with minimal updates and zero official support. Chimera OS took a different approach. Instead of cloning SteamOS, they built something better for couch gaming. It's based on Arch Linux with a custom interface that supports Steam, GOG, Epic Game Store, and emulators right out of the box. Think of it as the Swiss army knife of gaming OSs. It's actively maintained, gets regular updates, and actually works on handheld devices beyond just the Steam Deck. The interface is clean, boot times are fast, and it handles controller mapping like a dream. Then there's Bazite, the overachiever of the bunch. Built on Fedora Atomic, it's not just trying to be SteamOS, it's trying to be the ultimate gaming platform. Multiple desktop options, Atomic updates that never break, and performance that sometimes beats Windows and Vulkan games. It supports everything from desktop PCs to handhelds to home theater setups. The Atomic rollback system means you can experiment without fear of breaking anything permanently. Here's the reality check. If you want something that just works for couch gaming, Chimera OS wins. It's stable, focused, and does exactly what it promises without unnecessary complexity. If you want maximum flexibility and don't mind occasional tinkering, Bazite is your best bet. Hollow ISO, skip it unless you enjoy troubleshooting abandoned software. The dream of perfect Steam OS cloning died with its development. Bottom line, Chimera OS for simplicity, Bazite for power users, and pour one out for Hollow ISO.